this is medium one and look at the difference already this is medium two hello everybody welcome to my channel today we are going to review one of the most powerful flashlight in the world it fits believe it or not in this little box it's the Astrolux S1 so it comes in uh, three versions so I have the uh, 1A that is a uh, 6500 Kelvin uh, color so it's a cool uh, white the 3D is a 5000 Kelvin so it's more like a yellowish uh, white and the uh, 5A is a 4000 Kelvin it's a very yellowish color so I have the uh, 1A here the cool white so let's open the box I can't wait to see uh, this uh, flashlight it's a very uh, tight uh, box by the way very uh, tight okay so what do we have here we have the flashlight right there so as you can see it's a very very nice uh, finish we'll look at that in more details in a few uh, in a few seconds there is the uh, shorter uh, tube and I'll explain why again in a few seconds and we have over here in this little bag what do we have here I'll just use my uh, scissors here to cut this we have a lin Leonard with a plug I'm assuming this is for oh this is a spare button here in the back we have a spare we have two spare uh, o-rings and the uh, linear so uh, it's, it's very good actually this is very good quality now let's have a look at this uh, flashlight closer before we uh, use it I must say that the uh, this is aluminum it's all aluminum there is no plastic here uh, the rubber button here in the back there is a clip very very nice finish it's hard to show on the camera but I can tell you I'm impressed with the finish and the reason we have this short tube here is that you can dismantle this flashlight in uh, three parts so let me uh, remove the uh, the cap here and then you can put this on the side and you can rebuild the flashlight to make it much shorter for a different type of uh, battery when this is very short uh, you would fit an 18350 lithium ion battery and when you use the uh, long tube you would fit a uh, 18650 lithium uh, ion uh, battery so uh, let's build this uh, back here and uh, see how it works I rebuilt the flashlight with the long tube I want to mention also that this is waterproof so there is an o-ring over here and one over here and we get two spares like I mentioned so I'm using the long tube because I want to use my 18650 lithium ion uh, battery so this flashlight does not take AA batteries it takes the 18650 or the 18350 with the short tube so to show you the size comparison with a double A this is the length this is here the diameter so a nickel metal hydrate will give you 1.2 volts this gives you 3.7 and a lot more current so this is why this flashlight requires this type of batteries so let's see what kind of light power we can get this uh, flashlight has uh, several modes of operation unfortunately there is no manual that comes with it so you have to go to the website to look at how to operate the flashlight so there are basically uh, two modes of operation the first mode is shown in black so you have either this loop here or this one here at the bottom depending on whether you do a short press on the flashlight or a medium press and if you want to go from mode 1 to mode 2 you have to do several taps here and that will take you to this line here where you have two blinks and if you click on the flashlight between the two first blinks you will go from mode 1 to mode 2 
and if you click between the first and the second blink of the, the second group of blinks you will turn memory on so this is not easy to operate here by the way but I'm going to demonstrate here mode one which is this all this black cycle here and this black cycle over here now let's uh, try these modes of operation before we go outside to test the flashlight so remember that a full press you'll hear the click is flashlight on or flashlight off so a half press is when is how you change the mode so flashlight is now on we are in moon mode you can see there's almost no power so now I will do uh, short presses and we will cycle through the upper uh, black circle that we saw on the PC monitor so short press we are now in low mode medium one medium two high one high two and turbo this is the maximum power so flashlight off okay now flashlight on now I will do medium presses and we will go through the bottom loop that we saw on the PC so medium here turbo maximum power medium press stroke mode this is the battery check mode so if we were getting only one flash it means that the battery is less than 25 percent I'm getting four one two three four so my battery is between 75 and 100 percent now the last medium press will give us the bicycle flasher mode so flashlight off so these are the uh, different modes of operations within mode one of the flashlight before going outside to uh, compare the uh, the light power of our Astrolux S1 to uh, typical uh, flashlights like this uh, LED flashlight and this uh, old uh, uh, flashlight here I thought I would show on the same surface the type of uh, light output we get so this is our old flashlight here as you can see this is the power old technology if I may say this is our LED much much better and again let's have a look at our Astrolux here mid moon mode I'll do a medium press and this is turbo mode what a difference so let's go outside and compare the light output at last uh, we are outside and uh, it's only minus 10 uh, Celsius not too bad it was minus 20 last week see all the stuff I do for you guys um, so we see the shed here we are at um, almost 25 feet or 7.6 uh, meters so I'm going to start by um, lighting the shed with our good old incandescent flashlight so you can see here right there we will now switch to our little LED flashlight right here right there you can see the light obviously is more white than the uh, incandescent and now we will take the uh, Astrolux S1 and we'll go through uh, all the modes so this is low this is medium one and look at the difference already this is medium two this is high one this is high two and this is turbo mode what a difference amazing my uh, final thoughts on this uh, flashlight great I give it a score of 9.5 really uh, hard to show on camera the quality of the finish but it's great it is all aluminum it loses a 0.5 point because of the difficulty of going between the groups group one and group two but between the modes it's not that difficult once you get used to the half press or they call it a, a tap um, I would caution though the use in turbo mode all the time because it gets hot at the end here but like we saw you do get a lot of light power in high mode and even in the medium mode so highly recommended I hope you like this review 
and I hope to see you soon on my channel. Have a great day. Goodbye.